Starting Somewhere, I'm Danny Carson, and before we get started, I wanted to shout out our sponsor, JJ's Alley Bricktown Pub, for not only supporting our series, but also supporting live music. If you're a live musician, especially on this episode, I highly suggest you reach out to the owner, Jeff Rogers, to book a show. Now let's get into it. Oklahoma's live music is alive and well, and I'm here to tell you where you can find it. Let's start with our country artists. August 14th, catch country and Red Dirt artist Anthony Spencer at Red Dirt Reloaded here in Lawton, Oklahoma. He'll also have his friends Shane Conaway and Zach Holiday joining him as well. If classic country twang is your thing, Ralph Spears and the Coalition are performing at Guitar Bar tomorrow night starting at 9.30. Katie Ballew and her band, one of the very few female artists in country music, is performing at the Coal Creek Winery in Tuttle, Oklahoma on Saturday, August 14th. It's open to all ages and don't forget to bring your own dinner or your own snacks. The Jimmy Lee Jordan Band, which also has a touch of rock to their country set, is performing at Riding High in Ponca City on Saturday, August 21st. Rock shows are popping up everywhere in Oklahoma, including down here in Lawton, Oklahoma at the Railhead Saloon. You can catch Deadcore and several other acts performing on Friday the 13th. How fitting. Now that I know how to say their name correctly, it's Phil Dio is performing at Mama Sue's Pub this Saturday night in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Then they're joining our good friend Knuckles for the Lakeside Beer Bash that's happening at Robinson's Landing Marina, happening on August 28th from 3 to 11. Speaking of Knuckles, he's partnering with a local comedian, Matt Farrell, on August 21st to perform at Fubar Saloon for their Raps and Laughs show. I am excited to add jazz to this list this week because there is a special jazz night happening on August 21st at Core 4 Brewing Company in Norman, Oklahoma. Don't forget about the eclectic group, the Cat Pratt Band that is performing at the Park Tavern this Saturday night. Rather than listing each individual artist, I decided to shout out a few events that are centered around live music. Comanche County Fairgrounds is bringing back the annual Eats and Beats performance happening on August 21st. They'll have plenty of beer, food trucks, and live music coming from Danger Zone. School is back in session for parents out there, and unfortunately that does mean that bullying is about to become a risk for several students out there. In order to help bring awareness to no bullying, BS Productions and several other community members in Southwest Oklahoma are geared to put on a no bullying benefit on this Saturday, August 14th from 1 to 8 p.m. They'll have a live auction and live music all day long. Now I'd like to wrap up this episode by introducing to you some very good friends of mine. Here's our artist spotlight about Chasing the Coyote. My name is Ryan Tyler, I play the guitar and uh, I sing, I do backup harmonies, and then there I have two songs that I, some songs that I sing. Then we also have Travis Flood, who is our primary vocalist, he does, and he's also our, pretty much our tech. Then we have Ryan McGowan, who plays bass for us. Uh, he's also in like four other bands too. Yeah, 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 like four other bands as well. He's a very busy guy. Uh, me, Brett Gallant, I'm, I'm the drummer, about all I can do. <laughs> I just beat on the drums. It's very modest of you to say, but... <laughs> well, thanks. When we released our first album, we didn't really intend on it being an album, necessarily. It was just, these are the songs we have, let's get them down and let's put them out there, at least so we can kind of start getting some traction. So, the way we've kind of thought about it is like, we're now, we're on first album now. So, yeah. we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to write the first one. Hopefully and a full-length one. Right. Instead and, of just an EP. Right. We're trying to get a, yeah, like a, a, a studio album done and and see where it goes from there. We wanted our hand on every, every aspect, aspect of it. We didn't want, we, we didn't want people, we didn't want to hire somebody to do the album art. We didn't want to hire somebody to make our, our CDs. 
uh, we didn't want our stickers. Sign a contract. We didn't. Yeah, we didn't want. We, didn't want, we didn't want anybody involved in what we were doing because we wanted free. Or we wanted total creative control over what we were doing. Yeah. It was a year. We were just bouncing band names yeah. back and forth for That's on the hardest Messenger. Part about naming a band <laughs> and then um, one day we were just like, let's just call it Chasing the Coyote because that's pretty cool and nobody has it. So, yeah. eh, let's just do that. And then we were like, yeah, and then cool. it, and then it stuck and it fit, it fit really well. We did the whole, like, you know, the, the whole, uh, like the song black Sabbath by the band black Sabbath off the album black Sabbath. Yeah. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the running joke within the band. <laughs> yeah. So we are on Facebook. We are, uh, I don't know the URL off the top of my head, but if they say, if you search chasing the coyote on Facebook, um, you'll find us. If you go to Instagram, we are uh, chasing the coyote. It's gonna be chasing, chasing underscore the underscore coyote. So you can go to our band camp and uh, we have, you can buy the album digitally. You can go in, you can buy, uh, we have physical albums, stickers, and also t-shirts for sale. And that's uh, chasing the coyote dot bandcamp dot com. As you know, this series is brought to you by JJ's Alley Bricktown Pub in Oklahoma City. They are one of the only venues that I know of that offer seven days a week of live music every day of the year and three different stages you can watch from. Here's this week's JJ's Calendar. There's lots to see and do for everybody watching, so get out there, go support your local musicians by going to see a show, by going to JJ's Alley, or even just sharing this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Danny Carson, and this has been Oklahoma Life TV's Hashtag Starting Somewhere.